There you go. That's a few practices. I'm gonna put some wrap. Hey, Dave. Just uh, working earlier on the rifle range and we got a lot done. Okay, I want to call that one, that project finished for the most part. Well, finished. I mean, the little things I got to do, I'll just do on the site. So, uh, anyway, I'm getting ready to do a uh, little bit, a bit of cowboy action draw. Practice drawing my uh, revolver. So, anyways, I'm going to do that here in just a second. But, so, um, anyway, this ties into a lot of things I do out here. But I usually put corn out, you know, for the deer. I couldn't find any feed corn. All the tractor supplies are out. Um, none of the places that you would think carried it, had it. Um, and nobody had a good reason. So, I'm sure, sure it's probably some supply issue. I doubt that we're out of supply feed corn and I could have gone I think the co-op here in Benton County has it um, I've gotten it there before I just didn't have time today and I could have got it but you know how frustrating the places you usually just go to get it. it's not there all right so put some rounds in it see what we do first time trying it shoot us that target it's point name right Let's try it again. I try to do more point and less aim. I'm like, I don't know. Let's see, it's seven, eight yards away. I'm guessing. I'm shooting my Ruger Wrangler. The holster is a Christmas gift. And so something I wanted. I do have a 38 caliber um, single action revolver, which we will review on this channel, but haven't got to it yet. So, um, anyways, practicing with this because 22 ammo is still the cheapest I can find. All right, here we go. That was cool. Let's try it again here. So it appears most of my shots are going either high or low. And none seem to be going anywhere near where. So I don't know the point. I guess I gotta work on that the focus, I guess. What I'm wanting to do is lift up and shoot up. And so it's shooting too high. So I gotta focus on level plane. And we'll go from there. All right. See, I aimed that time. So anyway. That was close. All right, fun little exercise. I'll do some more. I want to do a shout out uh, 
so the Garden Tractor Boy, if you haven't watched that channel, it's really cool. Um, a young man named Joseph uh, operates it with his cameraman, a.k.a. dad. And uh, they do a great job. And so why I bring them up, the, one of the things is they sent me a couple stickers for his channel. And um, I feel bad. I cannot reciprocate because I don't have any stickers. Although something's in the works. So hopefully I can do that and send them to to uh, the Garden Tractor Boy soon and get that out. But if you haven't checked out his channel, do it. I know I'm a really small channel, but um, his is cool. I enjoy it. I always like his uh, his projects and uh, um, and the stuff they focus on. And, I, and you always learn something, so that's good. And that's what, you know, makes YouTube interesting to me. And uh, anyways, so shout out to them. I appreciate the kindness of sending me some uh, stickers, a couple stickers. So it's my first two from any YouTube channel. And so I'm super pumped about that. And I do appreciate it. And hopefully soon I can reciprocate Joseph and get you a couple. All right, so I gotta get much better before I start slinging 38 caliber rounds down the range. I wanna make sure I can hit stuff. So I think next time what I'll do is I'll put a paper target out there pretty close to me and just do some drawing and see if I can get a point where I'm hitting. Plus I'll also do a little research and see how people get better at it. I'm sure I'm not the first person to ever try this. In fact, I know I'm not. So, anyways, all right. Thanks for watching. Remember, make kindness your business. And uh, Dave out.